Hello everyone and welcome to day three called Being an Engineer and today we are going to be doing some engineering challenges that hopefully will push your ability to build Lego, make you a better Lego builder and help prepare you for some of the builds that we're going to be doing later this week. Uh, you'll just, after today's build, hopefully just have a little more confidence in building things tall, sturdy, durable and we're just working towards you guys being better Lego builders. So there's a couple challenges today. Uh, just know that after each challenge, you might have to take your Legos apart just so that you have enough bricks for the next challenge. If you wanna use your own Lego in this, you can as well. And um, yeah, just good luck with it. There's no right or wrong way. There, there's no, um, you know, there's no measurement that gets you an A or or anything like that. Uh, it's all just about seeing how far you can push yourself. So, you know, um, have fun, be confident, and if things don't go well, well, you know what engineers do. We start over from the beginning, plan, redesign, and try again. So our first engineering challenge is building the tallest staircase. Now, with Legos, we usually build staircases with one stud uh, poking out. So the bricks are offset by one stud. You could do it, I use two bricks, so the next layer covers three studs. I thought that gave me a little bit more durability, but I want you to play around with your construction of staircases. You can use whatever Legos you want. You can do it any way that you want. Um, if you want to do the challenge like I did, then your staircase is unsupported. That means the only bricks touching a base plate would be the first layer. You see how there's no columns or anything going up to support my staircase. So, um, you know, just see how tall you can make it and then try to count the layers. I use different colored bricks so that I could count easily and see how many layers tall uh, my staircase was. If you uh, if you need some more challenges with challenge number one, uh, you know you could try to make it without using the two by four bricks. How tall can you make a staircase without using two by four bricks? Um, or if you want to try supporting it, how tall could you make a staircase that's supported from the base? So maybe every tenth layer or so you put. Uh, some Lego up here and support it and then keep building and see how tall you could make it. Um, you know, you, you can do whatever you want as an extension. Another one is what happens if you turn the staircase? So it's a little hard to see, but if you're walking up the staircase, you would turn, you'd go around the other side here, come around here. And so this thing is like spiraling around. So there's always studs um, open on the next layer and I just thought this was cool. So, you know, can you also try to build a spiral staircase like this one? How tall can you make it? Um, and just have fun with, the, with this activity. Um, just try building different staircases. And this will be good practice because uh, usually in our buildings for Boomtown Build, we wanna have staircases. So it's nice to practice building staircases. Challenge number two. Uh, there's actually two different challenges that I have with this one. And this is all about making bridges. So the first one is making a bridge that can span the furthest distance. So that word span means how far does it travel uh, from one support to the other. So the, the deck of the bridge or the part of the bridge that is unsupported, how far is that span? In this uh, example right here, it, it's spanning one entire base plate, so 16 studs. As we go down, this one also spans 16 studs, and then this one here spans 32 studs. And you can see it starts to bend just a little bit, right? So how far can you span a bridge? Could you do three gray base plates? So that would be 16, 32, 48 studs. That would be a huge bridge. So maybe you'd be able to do it and then the other one, the other challenge that you could do too is make the sturdiest bridge that holds lots of weight. I took both of these bridges here, the first one and the second one, and I was able to put two cans of soda on top and the bridge is held. It bowed a little bit, 
So the base plates actually kind of lifted up at the ends because everything was pushing down in the middle, but the Lego didn't break. It was pretty impressive. So that's another challenge that you could try is, you know, putting some kind of weight on top of it. Just make sure whatever you put here, um, when it if it does collapse that it doesn't break or spray anything. And also just kind of be careful, you know, your Lego can warp and if you're putting too much weight on it um, and it's not, it's not coming apart, then it, that means that it's warping and bending. So don't put weight on it and leave the weight on. Um, put the weight on quickly and then see where it, where it uh, fails. And then I would only do it a couple times because I, I really don't want your Lego to break. So um, those are our two bridge challenges. And bridges are really nice uh, thinking about how to span Lego across gaps. My third challenge uh, is building it tall. So how tall can you build a Lego structure? Uh, now, if you have a, a big massive base and it's, it's built very durable, you can build a very, very tall Lego structure. You could probably build one if you started with uh, those nice durable houses from yesterday. You could probably uh, continue building if you had enough bricks all the way up to the roof uh, of the room that you're in right now. So as a challenge, if you notice that you're just building things tall and it's, it's super sturdy, what if you use the smallest base possible? So in my little picture example here, you can see that it's coming all the way down to one of those one stud gray uh, beams. So this, this all comes down and rests on one single stud. So as a challenge, how much Lego can you put on top of one single stud? So you could try this challenge or, uh, you know, again, you can do things however you want to do, but seeing how tall you can build things today and just really push yourself, see how tall you can build. And then as a super fun bonus, uh, you can build a catapult. Now this is super fun. It is gonna require several parts from your crane. So you are gonna have to take the boom of your crane, the thing that you built with instruction booklet number two. Um, you are gonna need those yellow beams uh, in order to build the, um, the lever right here in the fulcrum. Um, I have my building instructions right here. Click on this and you'll see the building instructions. I also have a building tutorial on YouTube. So if you want to listen to me uh, teach you how to build it, you can click on this and just follow along. And you, you don't have to follow the same color pattern that I did. Um, just as long as it sort of follows the same structure. All right, well, that's it for today. Please don't forget to share uh, your design with us. Um, if you are disassembling between each build, make sure that you're taking pictures, lots and lots of pictures and share those with us or take videos. Those are always fun to see too. And really just have fun today. You can see like the picture that I did, I tried to, take a bridge and invert it on a single stud. So just have fun, challenge yourself, and I look forward to seeing everything that you were able to create. All right, have fun.